bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord bless you. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. You are watching me in Heaven and Air Life program. The one we used to, we used to, uh, we used to do by 9 a.m. to 10:30 a.m. every day by the grace of God. Today we are going into another topic, which is very vital and very important. This topic is going to come out of the revelations that I receive from the Lord God Almighty himself. Let us pray. Our everlasting Father, we want to bless your name because you are King of glory, the Lord of Lord, the ancient of day, the I am that I am, the only one of Israel. We say thank you, Jesus. We want to appreciate you, O Lord, for the grace of the knowledge, for the grace you give to us. Without glorified in Jesus' name. We ask you, Lord, to open the eyes of the people to see the things of the Spirit. We ask you, Lord, we ask you, Lord, we ask you, Lord, we ask you, Lord, we ask you, Jesus Christ Almighty, that you should open their eyes to see your truth and their heart to accept you. Oh Lord, break it, break down every stony heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today, we are still in the series of spiritual teeth. Spiritual teeth. Yesterday, we talked about spiritual teeth on the issue of uh, the lottery, betting, and stuff. And we go deeper in the things of that, uh, the explanation of what spiritual teeth is all about. I will make mention of spiritual word bank, spiritual word bank, spiritual word bank. We miss, we made mention of it yesterday. And now we want to talk about, according to what God wants us to hear today, the virgin, virginity, and the spiritual thing. As I have explained to you yesterday, I will summarize it. Spiritual thief is a particular say, demons that always operate most in everybody's life. I didn't say specifically in one person, but most of the people's life. It is so real to you for you to dream a dream and not see there's no way you can say you grew up without you dream a dream that a thief come to your house. That thief coming to your house is not physical thief in that dream. It was a spiritual thief. And whenever the spiritual thief comes, he always come with, uh, he always come to steal the blessed spiritual things in your life. This include your destiny, including your blessing, including your, uh, 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 whatsoever plan God has planned for you. And whenever I steal it, I'm trying to summarize what I spoke, I said yesterday, just trying to make a point. Whenever I steal it, there's a particular place they call spiritual word bank. Spiritual word bank. And this spiritual word bank is the, is the, is the, I can also, they can also say this central bank of the darkness. Central bank of the darkness is a place whereby they donate the glory of many thousands of people starting from the days of adam starting from the beginning of humanity since then they have been donating blood donating they donate blood there they donate, they donate destiny there they donate different kind of things anointing are there many ministers of god will fall under fornication the anointing are there who fall under adultery the anointing are there that is from that anointing that is anointing his own servant to go and proclaim the first gospel. But now I'm not going there. I'm not going to that side. What I want to emphasize now is the virginity and the spirituality. Listen to me very carefully. I want you to open your ear attentively and uh, I pray God will give you the eyes to understand, 
to see and the hear to hear. If you have been, you might have been listening and be hearing for people that you must keep your virginity to the day of your marriage. You don't know the reasons. Number one thing is that virginity is a thing of pride for a woman. This is not just applicable for a woman alone, but it's also applicable for a man. Virginity, I'm talking to you on ways where the spiritual active steal the glory and the destiny and the main plan of God for humanity. Virginity is a thing of life. In the old days in Nigeria, whenever a lady gets married, the parent they will not pay the dowry, uh, they will not pay the full dowry yet in those beginning days. The man we have we have to take the the, 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 the girl inside the house, have intercourse with the man, with the girl, to confirm whether it is still a virgin. Everybody will be waiting outside to see whether it is true or not. So after the intercourse is being made and the man found her to be virgin. Is going to be a serious dancing. There will be rejoicing. There will be drums. There will be everything. And the man is going to pay a full bright price, dowry, in those days in Nigeria. A full bright price. So he's going to pay a full bright price. There will be, and that parent of such a girl is going to be honored. Is going to be honored among the people in the community that your child they met your child as a virgin and not only that that kind of child we also be honored too we also be honored too in the in the in the community that we honor her and the husband too we respect her and love her very seriously such a girl or such a lady is always see and take care and take as the ISG, IST in the community and in our whole husband house. Not only that, whenever the kind of child, uh, woman give back to children, their children too will respect the, the, the mother for that. So that is on that area. Now, bringing the matter now to the main intentions of God, Virginity is one of the most important key that access evil quickly. Listen to me. When you are a virgin as a man or you are a virgin as a woman, God respects your prayer than ordinary person. Your prayer is always a vital and important thing before God. Whenever you say a single word, the Lord hear it, hear it immediately. It's not a matter of anything. The Lord hear it immediately. Whenever you say a single prayer, it is being answered immediately in heaven. Not only that, the Bible makes mention of virgins in your relations that they will be they will be also be taken and be placed at a very high esteem in heaven. Now, and these are the reason why many people decided to be an inner for Christ, that they are not going to marry and uh, they're not going to sex anybody. But it's more deeper than that. I'm still going there. I'm just trying to make an introduction of what virgin is all about. Virgin is like a covenant. Whenever a man or a woman is a virgin, God always access his body and come out. There is a kind of access that God always do in their body. God always used them mightily whenever they consecrated themselves to avoid sex. So God always used them in a very high way. In a very high way. So that is if any woman or any man is a body. So as I was saying, virginity is a thing of honor, not just to man, but also to God. Now, these are the things that follow anybody who is a virgin. Listen to me. If you are a virgin, if as a woman, if you are a virgin and your husband met you as a virgin, or if you are a virgin as a man, 
One, one of the things that will happen to you is that the child you are going to produce is going to be a glorious child. Two, it will be hard for your house, for your own, to be destroyed by Satan. I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit deeper today so that you can understand. Two, it will be hard for the devil to destroy your home. Because there's a covenant that will be made because the man who is vaging you is the same man that married you. Three, the Lord will create a genuine love between both of you that no matter how the devil tried it, the love will be existing. It will be difficult for the devil to break. Four, your glory will shine. I'm not talking about you just shining your glory holy, but the both of you, whatsoever you lay your hands on, is successful. Will be very successful, and it will run faster in a very high way. Five, you will become rich and blessed. Six. Cause we have a limited power over your life. Cause, cause, I'm talking about generation cause, satanic cause, we have a limited power. I mean, I mean, a, 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 a little power, which means both of you can join your hands together and wrestle against it and you overcome it. Five, five. Whenever both of you go on your knee to pray, God will respect your voice. God will respect your voice because I will tell you the reasons. God will respect your voice. That is whenever you go on your knee to, uh, to pray. Eight, uh, seven, eight. The children you are going to produce we have the spirit to also become a virgin. That kind of spirit will be in her to be virgin. Which and our glory too will be fully loaded. Not only that, naturally, age, this age will bring a good husband to her. It bring us good husband to her. That is for a woman who found herself virgins or a man who is a virgin but the best thing is if the two of them is a virgin it will be more glorious their destiny will be so shine everything about them will be so great but if it is one thing that it, one one of them that is a virgin it is still good it is still very very good but not as important and powerful as the two of them the spiritual thief will not be able to have a place to steal anything from their life. Let me tell you the reason it is. Whenever you are inviting, you are presented as a full temple of the Holy Spirit. And you are presented as a true and the true identical of God. Don't forget that God has never had sex before. God is a virgin himself. So there's a kind of glory that follows a virgin. That is why whenever a man is virgin, something will change in his appearance. Something will change in his life. Things that he has not been doing, he begin to do them. Not only that, they are going to be physically reactions because there's these things that you remove. Now, if it is a woman, if a woman is a virgin, one, it's either the woman is having pimples before and is not having it again after it is virgin, or the woman is fresh, but after it is virgin, it will be having pimples. Now, the question is, what did pimples have to do with virginity? God has made it there to be a, a physical reaction. There's no way you can be this virgin and there will not be physical reaction. Listen to me. The, the way you are physically reacted, also spiritually, you are spiritually reacted. There's going to be an open channel whenever you get this virgin. But when your real husband is virgin you, 
there is going to be a success and a spiritual reaction to and, and another way another way around. that is why the bible talk about paying the dowry of a virgin and not only that god command every man of god to marry according to the book of the old testament he commanded all man of god to marry a virgin because there is a glory in virgin that correlates with the anointing not only that there is a glory in, in virgin that correlates with the call of god in any man of god who must marry i don't say the wife you marry that is not a, it's not a virgin it's not good for you i'm not trying to cause a problem here but i'm trying to preach the message of god which says that a priest and especially in nazareth a priest especially in nazareth must marry a virgin to make sure to make sure to make the ministry accomplish able to be accomplished for him or else he will not be able to finalize everything you see there's a mystery in that which i'm not going there now i'm not going there now a virgin is being projected as a treasure the treasure that god projected in a virgin anybody that is a virgin inside them inside their blood inside them there is a treasures that is in there number two they are not tokumbo they are brand new and I, I, I know that you know the meaning of Tukumbo and Brian. When you buy a Tukumbo car, it means it is fairly used by a white person. Now, a new one, it means a sand engine, sand everything. Before a new thing, a new car will spoil, it will take a while. You will use it very well. It will sound good, no problem, no anything. Most of the reason why there's a problem in the marriage is because a the man is married, or two of them have already used themselves. There is a cause that attached with it. I'm still going there. I'm still going there. That was another thing entirely. I'm not going there now. Now, now you uh, you will understand uh, what it means to to have a new thing, a brand new car, and a Tokumbo car. A Tokumbo car is still fairly used, like in Nigeria use, your country use. You know, it will be totally different. Now, when you now buy, when you become third hand. Don't and it is a fatty, which is talking about a woman who has used herself very well. It's always is always carrying a kind of cause that can affect the man who is marrying her. It can carry also a man who has used herself himself anyhow. It can also carry a cause which can affect the wife, except the man is a man of God and have said have done a deliverance for himself on that issue now what i'm trying to say is this this are one of the reasons why god is always commanding that a man of god especially a nazareth somebody who is in nazareth especially a, a, a apostles as a whole apostles should marry a virgin because there is a there is a specific spe, a spectacular uh, anointing upon them which it needed to carry out as a night there's an assignment that needed to be fulfilled Needed to be fulfilled. If it's not, if it's not the person who God has chosen, it is. I'm not trying to say those who didn't marry the virgin. Please don't misquote me. I don't say that they are doing the wrong thing. But I'm trying to go into the Bible, to the Word of God. Except, except if that kind of person is having a, is having a direction from Holy Spirit to marry a particular person who is not a virgin, just as that prophet who God has told told in the Bible to marry a woman who is a harlot. It is a divine instruction and God has a reason for that. Now, but naturally, what God commanded is that a virgin and it's because there is a special thing and a special gift and a special talent that is being created inside them. Now, listen to me. Now, if you look at the Bible very well, you will see that in the whole time, in the whole days, if a man wanted to marry naturally, they like married virgin in the in the history light. Now, the reason is because they are it is a commandment of God about this. So we know women should just do herself anyhow, because they are reason to that. I'm still going that I'm looking to that area, looking to that area. Now, if you look at Jesus, Jesus, Jesus' mother, Mary, she is a virgin. God cannot just send the savior in a body that has been defined, a body that has been defined. Anybody who is virgin himself or who, who, who they did virgin, the body has been defined. Only thing, there are, speci are special cases, like special anointing that my 
uh, that God loves to give to somebody who has never had sex before. Who can, who can never be, which can never be in the body of somebody who have been destroying his temple. You can ask for anointing and God will give it to you. But if you are a virgin and you ask for anointing, the anointing God is going to give for somebody who is not a virgin is different from the one he's going to give for somebody who is a virgin. I am a living experience. I know what I'm saying. I have been in these things and I've, I've seen such for it in the spirit. Now, it's going to be different. When I have not yet married at all, when I will see a very virgin and I'm a young man, I'm not yet married. The kind of power God endowing to me is totally different from the one I am that is in me now. I'm not saying that the power of God is not in me. What I'm trying to say is that the way God uses somebody who is a virgin is very highly different for somebody who is no more a virgin. I remember when I've not touched a woman before, the way God used me was very high. And one of the ways that whenever I am going for ministration, one, you cannot just shake me anyhow. If you shake me anyhow, you go under the anointing. Number two, when they call, call me for, 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 for ministrations, for ministration, even calling my name, saying we want to I welcome Apostle Peter Daniel, just calling my name only, the atmosphere of that place is will change. If I'm walking to the altar, people begin to fall under the anointing without saying a single word, without mentioning anything. None of, one of the things that's also manifest in me then was that whenever they call me and they said Apostle Peter Daniel, as I'm stepping to the altar, glows will begin to will begin to, to burst. You begin to hear the the powerful wind of God will enter the place. He will begin to prophesy and teach will begin to happen. Demon will begin to manifest. I have no ministered. Just calling my name and walking to the altar. So most of the time when I command, the authority is more high than when I have mind. So what I'm trying to say, I'm not going to that area. I'm just trying to explain to you the kind of significant and very important things of air being a virgin and what it is what happens when you are not a virgin? And what you needed to do after all? Now, coming back to somebody who is not a virgin, I have to cut that place off because of our time. Coming back to somebody who is not, who has defied his body. Well, number one thing that happened to you, when you have defied your body, and the person who you divide your body with is not the person you married. And me, it's not just that the person will be the one you marry. One, you must make sure that after wedding, it is when you now penetrate inside her and the blow come out. After wedding, if such thing is not like that, there's a problem. Number one is this. I have explained for those who have watched my video in uh in the, the one I did in Ghana, I explain most on fornication and adultery. And I told the presenter there, the man of God who was interviewing me, I told him that. There are more details, man. There are more deep, deep things about this kind of sexual intercourse, which I have not even said. We gave me one hour, one hour plus to speak, and with the way I was rushing, things was still, or I was unable to go deep on that message. But one of the things I want to tell you is this: if you have divided yourself before, and you are no more invited, you need a serious prayer. One, your original glory has been stolen away. The one you are using now is just the fake one. You can become rich, you can be blessed, but that was not the intention of God. God's own intention to make you extremely high than that one. If you are a type of person that you are not, you are not a virgin, there is a cause that attaches it. Listen to me. There is a cause that attaches any woman or any man who has defied himself with a woman without when he has not when he did not marry it's not the woman that he married that he defied himself the cause that attached with them is a very severe one that only the blood can set the person free i told you of how how jesus came to come and set me free in the blood bank of the darkness in the world bank of the darkness i told you that when the jesus christ came let me explain to you for those who didn't know when jesus christ came to come and set me Set me free. It's, a, it's not. It's not. It's a true revelation that I rewind a terrible one. They ask whether I am saved. Jesus Christ showed them something like gray, gray car to show that I am saved. They ask another question from Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ was giving them like a process. 
Then there is a particular thing that uh, they also ask that Joshua has to present his blood. Then the one they now say last was the issue of uh, fornication. I have once had it when I was in the sinner. When they mentioned this one, Jesus Christ turned his back and started going. I shouted, they were still holding me. I shouted, I shouted. I began to cry in that revelation. The cry was so severe and so terrible. I was crying seriously. I was crying seriously. I was crying to call Jesus Christ. He didn't turn back. And I wake up on the spot. When I wake up, I first, I was scared. The first question that come to my mind is that, when Jesus Christ came, why did he come and save me? Is the blood of Jesus not enough to save me? And what happens? And the Lord began to speak and to me. He said, I have to request for a personal deliverance on that area. It's a personal deliverance on his own. It's not that, it's not that uh, every kind of demon, come out. You fornication, come out. You adultery, come out. You know, it's a personal deliverance on his own. You own, you have to take time to do deliverance on that own that you disverted. You fornicated. Deliverance on his own is a terrible covenant. You see, when you, oh God, ah, the time will not permit us. Oh God, there are many things I want to tell you. But I'm looking at the time. You see, see you see, if you understand what it means to be this virgin, there's no covenant that you want to make except the covenant of Calvary. Except the covenant of Calvary. The most powerful covenant a man can make on earth is being disverted. It's more powerful than marriage. You will say, ah, I, I, I wish one be that one. I will tell you the truth. I will tell you the reason. The, the, the reason I say it's more powerful than marriage is that it's not every man that, you, that takes you to altar that God approves that marriage. Only the money that is approved can be stronger than that kind of things. Because if you bring all the married couple now, 95% of marriage is not approved by, by God in the whole world. And they believe they are married. That is why Christians keep going to hell. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I will not tell you, I will not talk about it now. I'm not going there. I'm not talking about marriage. Let me tell you, you see, that blood that came out from that girl that day, you, that blood that came out is a covenant that is very strong. I will not tell you what, how powerful it is so that we don't misuse it. I will not tell you how powerful it is because if I tell you, we say, hey, and that can cause many women or many men to be misbehaving. There is a power in that blood that came out from that gate. That gate. When, when you are the person that this, this enter it, this, you, that power can make anything to happen in your life. It can make you to be successful. It can make you to be anything. It can make you can change your life. It can do anything. Now, there is a particular key that is being given. A key. This key is the key that can open into glory's door. And this key is the key that can open it to the kingdom of God. This key was the key that Adam lost that day, that the devil collected. Now, this key is also given to every virgin that is being virgin, that is a virgin. When this key is in your hand, you are able to lose and unloose. You are able to open and unclose and close. This key is the key of your success. If you are not a virgin and your husband did not meet you as a virgin or your wife did not meet you as a virgin, that kid has lost. And you have to go and seek for it and look for it. Except there is a divine intervention. Just as the way one I always have. Now, this is the point. Virginity, when Satan robs you of your virginity, 
he has robbed you of your original intention of God. Don't laugh. I'm telling you, if you are listening to me now and you're not invited, you are in the time to be sad. I'm telling you. You are in the time you're supposed to be crying for mercy. Because it will not just affect you, it will affect your children. I'm not going there now. Probably I'm going to cut it. It's going to happen too. God giving me grace. If God will permit me. It will affect your children. If your husband, that is why you always see that some children, they get impregnated, they impregnate them at a very young age. Probably when they are in university or they are still in secondary school, they just impregnate them, they didn't do marriage. If their parent is impregnated with that before marriage, their children will be impregnated before marriage. I won't go there now because of my time. Probably I'm going to speak more on that virginity by the grace of God. God bless you. God be with you. What I want you to do is this. Go into serious prayer. Because there is a covenant that is, is difficult to break. Only the blood of Jesus that can break the cause that are attached with being not having virgin, being not being a virgin. There is a big time cause that attached with it. I'm going to go deeper and deeper into that thing. If you are not having peace of mind in your marriage, are you a virgin? If you are a virgin, then you have right to pray and to destroy whatsoever power that is disturbing your marriage. But if you are not a virgin, you have a long way to go. I'm not trying to make you afraid, but I'm trying to tell you the secret and the mystery of spiritual things that something has been taken away from your life. And that thing is very paramount to your destiny. God bless you. God be with you. Subscribe to this channel so that you can see more and hear more of this message. Subscribe and press the notification button. There is a, something that looks like a bell. They are press it so that you can understand and have more knowledge about this things. God bless you and God be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Shalom.